today we get finally the video that you guys have been requesting me a lot Tampere places to go what up fantastics how are you doing today if you're here for the first time welcome my name is Alex and I create fantastic videos about Finnish culture lifestyle and language so if you're into those kind of things subscribe so today I will take you to five places in Tampere where you should definitely visit and while you're watching this video I put some extra information in the description like locations prices and etc so make sure you check them as well let's go to the first place Bunicki Tower Puniki Tower consists of a cafeteria and observation tower, which is located on the world's tallest gravel ridge, Puniki. The speciality of the cafeteria are really fresh and awesome monkeys, which I definitely recommend you to try. So guys, these monkeys here in the Puniki Nagratoni Kahvela are tremendously good. I don't know why, but they bake them here and so they are really fresh. You can enjoy the monkeys on the spot or also get a takeaway to enjoy them at home. Alright guys, let's check out the tower next. At the top you have magnificent views over the city and you see both the two big lakes surrounding the city, Nasijärvi and Pyhäjärvi, as well as the landmark of Tampere, Nasinneola. Alright fantastics, we are up here at the Pyniki Tower and we have the, probably the best scenery of the whole city here. If you've been watching my videos, you probably know that I'm shit scared of heights, so I'm kind of taking it easy here. But what's actually kind of crazy stuff that you can climb down here, I think during the summer and even during the autumn, I guess, there's just like rope climbing down stuff you can do. Of course, now it's not available and if it was, I'm definitely not going to do it because I'm too scared of high places. But if you're like a little bit looking for some extreme stuff while grabbing some monkeys downstairs, consider doing that as well. Alright guys, let's go down, it's too high and too much for me. After the continuation war in 1944, the aim was to improve the relationship between Finland and USSR. The Lenin Museum was initiated by the USSR Finland Society and was eventually placed in the workers' house of Tampere, where Vladimir Lenin and Joseph Stalin met for the first time in 1905. This was a politically sensitive topic, but politicians such as the Prime Minister of that time, J.K. Pasekevi, supported. Plans of the museum were even presented to Joseph Stalin himself, who actually endorsed the project. The museum was eventually opened in 20th of January 1946. Despite the name Lenin Museum, the museum is about the shared past of Finland and the Soviet Union. And there's lots of interesting and entertaining stuff to see, ranging from displays of the tough battles between Finland and USSR, to Soviet-style living rooms, and all the way from Soviet-style Tetris, at which I was really bad because I didn't read the instructions, to taking selfies with Lenin and Stalin themselves. There's something to see for everyone in this museum and especially recommended for people who are into history. And there's also a museum shop where you can buy different kinds of items related to the exhibitions. This is not an interesting museum just for tourists but also for us Finns because you know Finland and Russia share up history together and here on the background, for example, you can see the, the road to the Finnish independence. This National Romantic style cathedral was built between 1902 and 1907 and is designed by Lars Song, who is one of the biggest architects of his time. The cathedral is also used widely for concerts and weddings. If the cathedral is quite magnificent, 
It has been also a lot of controversy, mostly because of the controversial artwork done by Hugo Simberi. For example, this fresco pictures naked boys carrying rose wine, and it is said that Simberi used actually real boys as models to create this one. The boys are said to be apostles of Jesus. Another interesting painting next to the altar is Kualman Putarat or Gardens of Death, not to mention the snake pictured in the top ceiling of the cathedral. So some people thought, is it really appropriate to have these kind of paintings and artwork or in a cathedral like this? But currently the Simberg's artwork are considered masterpieces of Finnish symbolism. The Moomin Museum. One of the things Finland is known for is the Moomins. And the only Moomin Museum in the world is located in Tampere. And the exhibition is based on the original collection of the Moomin art by Tuve Jansson, donated to the Tampere Art Museum in 1986. And the museum itself opened in Tampere in 2016. And here you can find a lot of beautiful original Moomin artwork as well as cool animations. And there's also a studio where you can attempt to different kinds of workshops. And while I was there, there was this pretty cool shadow performance workshop. As someone who used to watch the original cartoon animations on TV as a kid, this museum is a great nostalgia trip to my childhood. And also to learn more about movements and the creators and the history, the development and everything. A very good place to visit in Tampere. The Finlayson area. The Scottish engineer James Finlayson founded a machinery close to Tammerkoski Rapid in 1820. Eight years later, it became a cotton textile factory and a pioneer of Finnish industrial production. All right, fantastic. So now we are here in the Finlayson area. Finlayson used to be the Finlayson factory, but nowadays these red bricked buildings are used for something else like movie theater, restaurants, company facilities, etc. Let's have a look what we can find here. Or the one really cool place that is located here in Finlayson is this spy museum. Unfortunately, we are not going there in this video, but I've been there before. And let's say if you're into kind of spies, agents, and especially gadgets, that is definitely a must to go. There is also a pretty nicely done Finlayson art area where you can enjoy some pretty nice visuals. And if you're into Finnish design, you definitely want to check out the factory outlet that is still operating behind the buildings and as well as the Finlayson church. All right, Fantastics, which place of this I showed you in the video you want to check out first if you had the choice? Let me know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe because there will be a part two of this video next week, so you won't miss that one. Thank you for watching. See you next time. So, Mara.